Okay, so I've made it up here to come get my trail cam. And I don't know if it's going to be possible. Like this snow, it's about like five inches of snow. I've come alone this time, so I'm going to be ready. But uh, this is really sketch. I'm probably going to go uh, GoPro. Yeah, with all the snow falling, all these fresh tracks everywhere. I see a bunch of deer print back there. Other kind of little, like probably raccoons or foxes. Yeah. Yeah, let's, let's move to burning daylight. Okay, so I hiked up all the way to the spot where I was supposed to turn off and I just looked at the field and thought there's no way in hell I'm making it down there. Just, just walking up to that point was sketchy and I was following someone's tracks too. Looks like one or maybe two people have been uh, through here. There was just no way in hell I was going to make it down there to that trail camera. It was just... I have a hard time walking down it. Like, even the last time, I, I had just, like, two items in my bag. And it's still sketchy walking down it because it's rocky at the beginning. And, yeah, who knows what the hell I, I'd be stepping in. Did see a bunch of tracks, a bunch of deer tracks, big old buck tracks. And, uh... Yeah. Guess I'll have to save it for next week. It is what it is. So I figured I'll get down to the other site. Maybe I'll try try out my hammock. Chop chop up a couple logs of firewood. I think there's a nice fresh broken one right here. Probably just break this guy up and take it with me. I had to pull the plug on the other one, get in the trail cam and everything. And right now I'm debating, am I going to sleep in my car? Just an overnighter instead of a two-nighter? There's too much snow. It's a race against time. The spot that I was going to, I'm thinking about doing a hammock overnighter right by the fire pit. Um, just, you know, it's picked clean. So I'm going to Race against time. That pine tree over there is just soaked all the way through. I just need to find wood. I probably have like an hour.
Honestly, I don't know if this is going to work. The fire pit's like five feet away from me. Hopefully the, the river's behind me. Stream or whatever. So the wind's coming down that way. It might push the heat into this area and reflect off the top. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I have enough wood to get me through the night. Worst case scenario, my car's right here. Man, this fire pit's all covered in snow. I mean, just give you an idea how much snow fell. And you can see the tree right here. Oh. Shoot over. It's like seven, eight inches probably right there. I don't know if I should get the fire started now. It's getting a little cold. I could just put on a jacket, but it is getting dark. Get it right in the log. Oh, that's right, this is my new one. Some of these twigs are still green, but whatever. We'll make it work somehow.
Oh man. Nice having little creature comforts. Ooh. Yeah, screw this. I'm getting my jacket. It's barely almost six. Um, this uh, fire pit is just way too far from this. I'm gonna have to change the the tarp situation. All this ice around me and the water, the flowing water. I'm gonna have to probably change that to an A-frame or something. Because the, the breeze is coming over the water and the snow down the hill. Nothing's coming from that way. At least I don't know of. Maybe the tarp's blocking it, but yeah, I gotta change the setup. like this fire is barely even working. I'm not, I'm sitting like right by it and I'm not getting any heat. But I'm dressed as warm as you can be and I can still feel it. So, see my biggest concern isn't camping in a spot that I've never been. It's the fact that the road is right there. It's like 30 yards away. I've heard a lot of stories about things in West Virginia, and I'm just like, oh, I think I'm in West Virginia, or maybe I'm on the Virginia side, but I've heard a bunch of camping stories. Just random hillbillies just come out and mess with you and stuff. I, I don't know. Another concern, given how cold it is, that was something that happened after my first video, is that after spending three nights in the woods, getting back to my car, I was ready to go home, I was excited, tried to, tried to unlock the door, it wouldn't, wouldn't unlock, I tried to get in, it wouldn't start, I was like, ah, oh, crap, I got in manually with the key, but even right now, I tried to start my car like uh, an hour ago. It wasn't starting. But that's then I noticed there was a key set sign blipping going on. What that means is it doesn't recognize that my key's nearby. So I think it might be too cold for my keys. It might like kill the battery for a minute or something. Maybe I gotta keep it warm. I don't know, that's my assumption, but I'm going to have to find out, I guess. Already here, could just sleep in the car because this fire is useless. But, I'm already set up camp. What's there to be freaked out about? I'm packing this time. Alright, just keep it on my chest or something. It's ready to go. Just working on this without my gloves on. I can't even feel my fingers. Guess that works. Way wider. It's too cold. It's too wet. Everything's just nothing's burning. Even this one. This came off a freshly dead tree. This is how dark it is right now. This, this light from my head cam, or my head headlamp. It's 
It's only 6.15. Let me shut this off. I gotta chop some firewood. I don't have enough. I don't think I do. That might get me through the night. I got the saw, but it's gonna keep my body temperature up. Be a long night. Got cold, wet wood. <laughs> Snow freaking everywhere. I don't know what I can dig out or what I can't because there's so much of it. Yeah, that little wood chopping got my blood flowing, but I'm sure. In Due time, start freezing again. I haven't seen or heard anything unusual yet. I've had like one car go by since I've been here. That was two hours ago. I have enough wood. I'm take you off this tripod. Yeah. See, like this guy, still snow on it. It's like caked on and won't come off. It's wet all the way through. Those were the big boys I found at the other campsite. These, these guys, this was a standing dead. Standing dead. But, I mean, if I'm trying to make it through the night, like, if I get lucky, I could probably get one hour from one of these, or it's one, two, three, four, five, six, I don't know, I might not have enough. But I'm starting to finally pick up some, a thousand years later. Better than not. 
see if I can dry up this fat boy. He's so... Um... One, two... And his little friend. I'll be lucky if I can make it to like 5 a.m. in terms of the wood. If these big guys don't catch. Oh crap, I think it's starting to rain. I can't feel my feet because I was walking in the snow. I'm trying to go get the trail cam. And. almost a foot of snow. My whole feet, feet were just covered for however long it took for me to walk through there. I can only hope, hope that these guys catch. I put the sleeping bag inside uh, the hammock. It feels good. Warmed up real fast. Except for my feet. And I think these wool socks are fire retardant. I'll take my chances. I haven't checked my phone in a few hours. I think it only said it was like 39, but it doesn't feel like 39. I think it drops down to that temperature at work. It doesn't feel anything like that. Maybe it's because I've been sitting here out in the cold for a few hours now. I've never camped in snow. So, this is going to be new. Even though it's car camping, my car is right there. I believe it's supposed to rain tonight. Which, the forecast all week didn't call for rain. I can see some droplets coming down. I heard some hit the tent earlier. Oh, man. It's only an overnighter. Um, hopefully the rain doesn't start that soon. Otherwise, I'm going to have to turn in early. I was waiting for my appetite to kick in. It's going to make a pot of chili. Or from a can. It's, you know, I'm not fancy right now. Everything else I have is dehydrated. Because I was, I was expecting to go further down the road and do like that real bushcraft camping. But <laughs> not with this snow. no way in hell I'd be able to explore it that way. I don't know what the ground holds for me. Rocks. Uh-oh. I think I should probably check my phone. It's in the car, though. Finally getting feeling back in my toes. If only this fire were bigger. I should have just left earlier. Okay. Put the shoes back on now. Much better. See why some dudes wear high boots, not mediums. Even just hiking along, I still get stuff in my shoe somehow. This comes up above my ankle. Uh, droplets are coming. Oh man! Let's check the weather report. Oh yeah, it's coming down now. See the sprinkles starting to happen. Crap.
I just heard a loud bang. I don't know if it was a gunshot from a the distance. Oh, it's a log. I gotta move all this stuff underneath. Welcome to the chateau. It's um, it's a lot warmer in here than out there. But I also have gloves on. Guess I'll wait for that plane to go by. Yeah, I can hear the rain starting. Should probably st check my phone. Why does it sound bigger now? Stupid. But um, yeah, I should probably check my phone, see what the weather report is, if I get it at all. Um, yeah, that last clip, I just heard what sounded like a bang. Yep, the rain's starting. That means no chili for me, unless I eat it from a can in the car. But I won't sleep out here. I drove a hundred miles. I want to be out in the woods. But, um, yeah. Let's go check the phone before the rain gets too crazy. Well, the weather report says it's supposed to rain at like eight or nine, fifty percent chance. So I'm gonna take its word for it. Um, this fire is just smoldering. All the wood is just too wet. I can just blow the whole supply on it and just see what happens, but I don't think anything is catching. Then I definitely won't have enough to get through the night. But, yeah. Came up here once, it said 10 or 20% chance of rain, and it was just a monsoon. Oh, here, here it comes. That's really picking up. It's going to be. Probably just gonna be on and off scattered right now, but then it's just definitely gonna come down. Um, I got something I want to try with my wool blanket. I want to hang it over. You can't even see me. Stupid wind. I'll just show you. So, I want to hang my wool blanket over where um, the mosquito net is. Cecily's just creating like a wall, like mosquito net, but of wool, keep myself warm. I'm going to figure this out. So there was a change of plans, I didn't have, I didn't have my uh, wool blanket with me but I had my resting pad with me so I just threw it on the bottom of this and just have my sleeping bag over me works great so much so that I, I took a nap earlier I just like literally just dozed off for like I don't know what time it is for like an hour the fire is starting to pick up too I don't hear any rain though Probably go check the campfire. All right, so it's about nine right now, or eight forty-five. No rain. Still cold. I'm starting to get hungry. So I'll be back with some chili in the pot and everything. I'm too cold to film it. Trying out my new Tokes. Tokes 1100 mil pot titanium. Here's the diarrhea chili. Wolf brand. Just heat it up. Oop. 
Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, what are you doing? Good. Hey. Return after the schedule schedule or I don't know, screw it. It's been about fifteen minutes now. It's like steam is piping out of it. Let's let's check on it. I can hear it bubbling in here. Not looking the same way, but you know, it's cold. Actually, the temperatures died down a little bit, it's like settled, if that makes any sense. Going the wrong way, yeah. The temperature has like leveled out, if that makes any sense. I think my buddy at work, Andrew, was telling me that at night it just does that. It felt a lot colder earlier. Yeah, now it seems a little more plausible to chill in the hammock after this chili. Wolf brand chili. Uh, uh, uh. Nice and mediocre. But not bad. It's all right. Oh, it's piping hot though. I really don't like the way it feels to scrape titanium on titanium. This feels wrong for some reason. Well, so it's starting to snow. I guess uh, the fire doesn't matter now, right? Uh, hopefully it doesn't snow throughout the night because I still got to travel down the rest of the way to the hill and who knows if it's get like if it comes up to here then I might have an issue. Oh, it's rain now. Well, it looks like the rain kind of spoiled the party so I guess I'll just turn in early. It's only 9.30, even if I only slept for six hours, which I highly doubt, that would be four. Usually when I do these things, I'm, I'm only sleeping for like two hours at a time if I'm lucky. But this is pretty comfortable, the swaying motion. But I am in a different spot that I've never been to. <sighs> it's right by the road. And a water source. I don't know. I mean, I'm strapped this time, so. Yeah. I'll be fine. See you in the morning. So, I just found out that I picked a great day to come spend the night up in the woods. Turns out it's either winter solstice or equinox. And it's. <laughs> Gonna have 12 and a half hours of darkness. Sun went down at like 5 today, and it won't be up till 7.30 tomorrow. And I'm in the valley, so I probably won't even see the sun until like 8 or 9. <laughs> I always do this. Okay, so the winds picked up like dramatically. I could see like the giant trees way out there swaying back and forth and just knocked some of my tent pegs out or my tarp pegs out 
I think for safety reasons I'm gonna go sleep in the car because like uh, 30 minutes ago before it started like really picking up like it is right now um, I have my camera just right here in case I need to turn it on and uh, while I was just knocked out hand of my pistol camera just comes falling down on me <laughs> I was like oh crap but yeah I'm, I'm gonna move it to the car I walked away for two seconds knocked it over again Easy. Hold. Alright. I'll probably sleep easier in here. Should be warm enough to where I don't need the bivy. cold outside and I'm I don't get it I wasn't dressed like this in my first video I had this jacket and that was about it I'm wearing double wool clothing I'm, this is um Pendleton wool and then a wool base layer <laughs> it was colder than this on on at least what the phone said but there's no way in hell it was what they're claiming right now. They're saying it's all, it's 39. Maybe it's because of all the snow just radiating off the ground, and I, I don't know what to say. It is so cold outside. It's that plus the wind knocking my tarp over. Fire's just useless. Double wool socks. They sleep comfortable. Yeah, I just don't believe it because it was 25 when I was up on top of the mountain. And it was cold. It was raining and it was cold. But this is just stupid. Right, I guess now I could probably get some sleep and check back in the morning. Hmm, that's not bad. Now, usually, like food labels say like serving size, like two or three. It tries to deceive you, it say calories and divides it in three or whatever. This one actually says one can, 320 calories. Wait. Uh uh uh. It's pulling a fast one. It says 320 per cup. Now I don't know what one cup translates to. I've never did math for a can. Okay, there you go. It's just per container. That makes a little more sense. That's still not that bad. 550 for a whole can. All right. <laughs> Frills the sun. See you in the morning. I definitely the longest that I've ever slept, but you know, I'm in my car. Yeah, kind of had to because it was the longest night ever. Twelve hours of darkness. Gotta go check the coals. I doubt it was 39 up here last night, man. I check my phone again right now, and it hasn't been updated, and it doesn't even say the temperature. I think they just stopped at whatever temperature it was once I lost reception, because even right now it's freezing. You gotta go check on the, see if the fire still has, like, if there's any coals or not. If there is, I'll make some coffee. If not, then I guess I'll just move on, start packing up and heading home.
starting to snow. I gotta get out of here. I gotta pack up quick. Mission failure. I just tore everything down, just threw it in the back seat. I was just like, screw it. Let's get out of here before the snow picks up. And... Cause I can't even check the temperature right now. So there's no reception here. I guess, I guess I'm just gonna hold off until the snow stops, probably next week or the week after, I, I don't know. It's probably just gonna get worse. I can't imagine it getting better. Yeah. Guess we'll find out, right? <laughs>